Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So of course we'll look at some sales, but today I went on a thrift run and I got some pretty cool toys and other stuff to show you. So let's check it out. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, I got a nice little thrift haul here. Uh, some cool toys, a uh, few non-toy items usually the way it goes with me. <laughs> Spent about 50-ish bucks today, but I'm happy with pretty much everything I got. We'll start with a few uh, non-toy items. One is a video game, so that's kind of close to the same category. I picked up this Wii Jambo, Jambo Safari Animal Rescue because it was brand new sealed. Uh, it was $1.99, and I'm looking, uh, looks like a sealed copy of this sold for about 20 bucks, so for $1.99 that seems pretty good to me. One of the thrift stores, uh, they have a coupon stamping system to where if you spend $10 or more at the thrift store, it's well, the thrift store is called Ambets. Some of you may be familiar with that. It's only in, it's only in California, uh, I think. Uh, there's two of them down here where I live, uh, the, and the most local, the one that's closest to my house is Ambets. So I actually that's where I frequent quite often. But they have a stamping system to where if you get 10 stamps, you get uh, $10 off a purchase. So it's an, basically another sort of additional $10 off or 10% uh, off kind of. Uh, so you're encouraged to spend $10 when you go there. So I found this thing. This is a sealed Bose adapter Adaptique audio calibration system. It was $7.95. That's kind of overpriced, but I see a, a brand new sealed one of these things can sell for about $25. And this would be a first class ship. So it kind of served two purposes for me. One, I can make a profit off of it. It is kind of a high investment for the amount of profit I'm gonna make. So there is that, but uh, it helps me get hit that $10 threshold in that particular thrift store because I didn't find a whole lot of items in that one. So there it is, brand new sealed Adaptic Bose uh, audio calibration system. Yeah, then in that thrift store, yeah, I really didn't find a whole lot. Uh, I picked up a Flip Fury for $2.95. Not bad. I mean, just I like to have it to add to another Zombie Strike lot. Uh, a little bit overpriced. And then for it wasn't priced. I'm assuming they charged me $1.99 for this Maverick. Uh, and I'm about to, I think I hit the 10, at least 10 to make the party pack now. So I really wanted to make sure I close, closed out my lot of 10 Mavericks to make my party pack because they sell for pretty good money. So went to the thrift store I called the Hotspot Thrift Store today. Uh, I have to travel farther to get to this one, uh, but it's usually worth the trip. And today I think it was again too. So we'll start with uh, a 2.99 figure. This is a Spider-Man, uh, Iron Spider-Man figure. So it's like a cross between Iron Man and Spider-Man. I think this is about a 12 to 15 dollar figure. This is a 12 inch Marvel Titan hero figure. Uh, just in a few videos ago, I sold uh, four of these for like almost a hundred bucks. Um, this one's not as good, but I still picked it up. Got a couple interesting toy weapons. For $2.99, I got this sickle thing. I looked it up. I'm gonna have to look it up again. Okay, it's a Jack Pacific Disney's Mona Maui's Magical Fish Hook, hook Lights and Sounds, 20 inch. Uh, this one's working. Uh, I actually saw Tendo pick up one of these, I think. Um, and it got my attention. So I looked it up and it looks like it sells for 25 bucks free shipping. Uh, so that's not bad for uh, 2 dollars So it's got some light and sound features. Then for $1.99 I got this uh, Minecraft sword. It's a sword that turns into an axe, 2014 or vice versa. So it's a sword, 2014 Mattel uh, sword and then sword and then uh, axe. <laughs> It was $1.99 and it looks like this is a $25 to $30 item too. It does have some scuffs on it though. All right, then I found this uh, Cabela's uh, PlayStation 3 gun controller, $1.99 uh, with the scope too. Fortunately, this, this scope is laying in the bin and fortunately I, I figured it out that it belongs. So it uh, looks like this uh, could be a $25, $30 sale as well. And I found me some interactive toys today. Uh, I found Hatchimals, uh, $1.99, here's a nice purple looking one. And then I found uh, two of the same kind, these little wobbly head dragon looking ones. Two of those, $1.99 a piece. 
Uh, I got two other Hatchimals currently. Uh, I might, these two are exactly the same, so I might hang on to one, take this one with the other one I just got, and the other two, and uh, I'll end the listing of the ones, the two I have, and make a lot of four and see what I can do with that. Uh, I've sold two of these before for about 25-ish bucks. So maybe I could make a $40 sale. You never know with uh, lotting a bunch of them together. All right, then even better, I found another Furby. I just sold a Furby just like this with uh, another Furby uh, for about 50 bucks. Only $1.99 for this guy. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying finding these. So we'll test this one out and see if it's good too. Then uh, Nerf wasn't super spectacular today, but I did find some. Uh, I found uh, Vigilon, $1.99. Another Maverick, $1.99. Here's one I really needed. $1.99 was this drum mag. Uh, I'm pretty much out, I am out of any kind of special magazine accessories. I needed this for, uh, I've got a uh, Hyperfire Elite I can put this with. I, that's not the magazine it really goes with, but uh, I needed something to, to pair with it. So kind of on a shortage of this stuff, so I was happy to find it. And I found another $1.99, a nice rough cut here. So that's good. And then $1.99, a recon. I normally, with the recon, it's kind of old and outclassed. I, I'm careful when I buy it. It was Since it was only $1.99, it has a magazine and it's barrel and buttstock and it looks nice and clean. I decided to grab it. Oh, then finally, one more uh, vid, uh, Vortex Blaster. I found another Diatron for $1.99. And yeah, that does it. Pretty nice little thrift haul. Uh, should make me some pretty good profit. Be able to work on more lot, nerf lots and stuff as well. So I'm pretty happy. All right, it is party pack time. Got 100 darts, 10 Mavericks. This is what I'm talking about right here. Uh, look, shooting for an 80 to $100 sale, sale total paid by the customer, including shipping though. So we'll see. We'll see. What do you think, Furby? Okay. Oh, dang, guys, I got even more thrifting to show you because we went to Home Depot and then the Goodwill we usually go to is right by Home Depot and went in and did another thrift to add to this thrift haul. Uh, honorable mention item, I got uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes Blu-ray for my collection. Nice clean copy. But also in the Blu-ray section, not for my collection, is Daredevil, the complete second season. And I scanned this and comp this. This is a sealed copy. Uh, the comps for this, the lowest price I've seen is 40 something bucks. This must be, a, this is like a uncommon or rare Blu-ray if that such a thing exists. I guess for this, because uh, this is what, a Netflix series? So most people that are watching this stuff get their stuff digitally nowadays, so they probably didn't make a whole lot of copies of this. So I'm seeing people sell it from 40 to 70 bucks. So that was pretty neat, 3.99. Then uh, for 7.99 was a nice pair of uh, Hoka 1-1 Clifton 4s. Hoka 1-1's a brand uh, for shoes I like to resell. Uh, these look to be pretty nice condition. They are sandy. I need to wash them probably if I want to present them to my level of presentation. All right, sold one of my media items. Jesse McCartney, She's No You, single. Uh, total price paid by the customer, $4.48. Just going to throw that in a padded. All right, I sold this Xbox 360 game. Uh, Lucha Libre Heroes Del Ring. I guess a little bit more of an uncommon title. Uh, total price paid by the customer, $20.67. I paid a few bucks for this at the Goodwill, I, th I believe, if I remember. Let's do a padded mailer for that one as well. All right, I sold this uh, Nerf Star Wars lot. Uh, I took two uh, Jin Erso blasters. This is for uh, Jin, Jin Erso's blaster from Rogue One. And these make cool lights and sounds. Uh, I took two of those. And then this is the Poe Dameron. Uh, you know, Force Awakens or, or those movies, Blaster, and they definitely look like they go together. Same color scheme and everything. I happen to have this box that's gonna work perfectly for this particular lot. Oh, and 20 darts is part of that lot too. So total price paid by the customer, $42.74. Gonna just, do some padding with uh, plastic bags and a little bit of paper I have left. It's gonna be a five pounder. 
All right, here's a nice lot. Zombie Strike lot. I pieced together some pretty uh, nice Zombie Strike blasters, though. We got uh, we got the Sling Fire with a nice 12 round magazine. We got the Duminator. We got the Sledge Fire. And we've got the uh, Side Strike with the holster and 50 darts. Total price paid by the customer, $93.85. Got this box to make a war chest here. I'll probably have to cut it shorter. That's okay. Uh, it'll otherwise make a really nice box for this lot. Nice little war chest here. 11 pounds. All right, FedEx, be kind to me. All right, I sold my vintage 1994 Power Rangers. Uh, I think it's the White Ranger. Saba or Saba? I think that's the name of the Ranger. Uh, talking Sword. I got that in, a, I think it was a $2.99 bag of toys. Really nice find. Sold that today. Total price paid by the customer, $47.83. I think I'm going to take a six by, the 16 by 12 by 8 and just Frankenstein it down to a really small flat box. Because I kind of need a big box to fit this thing uh, nicely. Super protected. And I think that's as good as it needs to be. A little heavier than it probably needed to be, but. I'm okay with that. It's still under two pounds. I wasn't going to get away with under two pounds uh, and, and wanting to protect it. So, All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about any interesting eBay tips, tricks, finds, or just leave a comment down in the comment section to say hi. Always appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one, guys.